Egy igazos se beszéltek vele. Ó, oh, szép. És te ki vagy? Nem, nem lehet. Mi? Mi? Mi a bajod? Más már csak egy szint van. Még sikta nem lehetünk valadni. Ja, itt meg nem láttam. Minden bizony a legsötétebb eddig. Ó, oh, ó. Oh. Oh, tényleg. Mert nincs fejed. Miért nincs fejed? Még próbálok mindenkit. Na, utolsó. De mi történt a, mi történt a fejükkel?
Jó, ez a bejárat? Nem. De. Talán. Ó, oh, nem bízható. Mi van itt a nyiszék? Na, beszéd veled. Akkor kihúzza meg az a széket. Oh. A hűtő még üzemel. Johan Ross was found dead on the climber this morning. Me? The arc team went down a couple of days ago, but I see no reason to suspect them playing a part in his death. The climber can't be operated from the abyss, so there was a scheduled retrieval. The climber returned with only the lifeless body of Alpha member Johan Ross. That's it. What's that about them? No traces of the arc team. Cameron Eames Lansky. All studying the body inside containment. I'll follow up with whatever they find. Linda S. The WoW has been getting more aggressive, pushing all systems to their limits. Ironically, the dead Dr. Johan Ross would be the perfect person to ask why the WoW is making such a big buzz about his passing. After all, the WoW isn't supposed to want anything. And definitely not to mourn people. The system overload affects the staff considerably. Headaches, loss of sleep, unwarranted stress. And it seems to be getting worse. I could use some advice if you can get through. Delenda Est. Things are out of hand. The staff looks like they're about to explode. Every other person walks around with nosebleeds. And oh. the rest keep wiping stains of blood from their eyes to keep them from overflowing. Yui. That's to do with the WoW trying to free Ross somehow for sure. At this point I wouldn't be surprised if the body just got up and left. Rally Herber, our dispatcher, has been snooping around asking questions she shouldn't. She says she's going down into the abyss to find Alpha. I can't bring myself to stop her. The police is Alpha. Oh, what's the world fair? What the fair is? Um, can you see the script, Ben? Beast at all? Yeah, I'm almost there. You know me, Ben.
nem biztató, egyáltalán nem. Ne, 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 Yes. No, maybe, maybe. Nem érdek ez. Meg van, mint a hajom. Most nem a fázol, van. Nem ne jöttem innen. Nem. Innen. Aha. Ez nem jó. Ez nagyon nem jó. Nem, nem! Miért volt ez itt? Mi? Á, ez követ. Gyorsan. We need to assemble your new body with the things you collected. Just stuff all of it into the suit with the dead body. Stuff the chip, the battery pack, and the gel into the power suit. This is crazy. Don't worry, it'll work. Make sure it's all bunched together with the structure gel connecting all the parts. All right, try activating the seat from the terminal again. Uh huh. Uh. No. No. I can't believe we're doing this. It will be fine. Then why don't we put you in the suit? I was going to suggest that if you refused. You'd go without me. I need to do this, Simon. This is important. I need to launch the Ark. You'd really do it. Change body. 
Yes, if you want to stay here, I'm not going to stand in your way. I don't want to tell you what to do. Will it be like before? Close my eyes and then... And then open them again. All right, let's do it. Thank you, Simon. Go sit in the pilot seat in the next room. You might need to boot it up. We need to loop back the activity manifested by your current Cortex chip, run it through the amplifier, feed it into the new chip, and then make sure it's synced. You lost me halfway there. You don't really need to understand it. Just make them line up. <laughs> there must be something wrong. Can't you run a diagnosis or something? What was that? No, I it just Why was it still talking? It's the same like before. Catherine, why was he still talking? That's how it works, you know that. What do you mean? You know it's not magic. You were copied. The sleeping Simon in the sea was copied, and now you are here, just like Simon lived on in Toronto. God damn you, Kath. Two Simons? There can't be two Simons. What did you think would happen? That you were going to take my mind and put it into another body, like a brain transplant. I'm sorry, it wouldn't work that way. You realize how messed up this is? Please, I didn't mean to upset you. How did you expect me to react to this shit? Please stop. You're fucking disgusting. What's gonna happen to him? He'll sleep for a while, a few days. And then what? Wake up in this fucking nightmare again? All alone? So cruel. Well, what do you want me to do with him? Make friends? Let him know that we have to leave him behind when we go into the abyss? What if... What if he didn't need to wake up? You do that? I don't know. Maybe. There. I set it up for you. Hit the switch if you want to drain his battery. He'll die within a minute. I'd rather not stay plugged in any longer. Мам. Сергей. Nem tudom megvenni magamat. Nem, nem is van. Ó, oh, ott van.
Obviously, yeah. That was good stuff. Are we done here? Yeah. Activate the clamor, please. Sure thing. flipped a coin and if I had called the wrong side I'd be rotting away at Omicron. I mean there's nowhere to know, right? You didn't hit the make sure Simon wakes up in the right body switch, did you? Not that you would know. I mean, he would still claim to be the right Simon. Christ! This is awful! We did an awful fucking thing! And you wouldn't mind? Why would you? How could you know that it's not me, the me that I am, the same that I've always been? Please say something. I don't want to think. Please. I don't know what to say. I don't want to upset you. Say anything. When I was little, I used to climb the stairs all the way to the top of the building. And I could still feel how I did it, you know, tuck my arm so I could push the heavy steel door open. Well, the first time that I dared go up there, I stepped out onto the roof and watch the smog rise and fall over Taipei. I got all the way up to the corner ledge and you know, I felt the warm wind in my hair and the sun was setting and the streets below were shadowed by the tall buildings. The people pushing through the crowd flowed like paint from an artist brush. Street food vendors filled the air with aromas of all my favorite foods. For a brief moment, I felt connected to the world in a way that I never had before. It was the most profound feeling of comfort and sense of belonging I could ever hope for. I really never felt the same way again, but I went up to the roof many times after. I'm not religious, but I can see why people would be. The privilege of being makes a strong case, at least every once in a while. Do you still feel that sense of awe? Even like this? Things are different, but we're still here. What's the point of going on? Everyone's gone. All the people still left are digital copies trapped in computers at the bottom of the sea. We'll never be able to rebuild or reclaim what we were. Are you really so unhappy being what you are, or is this about the man who went for a scan a hundred years ago? Both, I guess. When I was back in Toronto, even the worst case, the darkest futures I could predict, they at least included my previous life somehow. I feel so uprooted. There's nothing here that I recognize, nothing that makes me feel like I belong. Even if we make it to the yard, would it be any different? I'd still be alone. No friends. No family. You could make new friends. I'm sure everyone would like to know the time traveler. If not, you still have... Oh. Um. Um, um. Catherine? Catherine? Hello, Catherine! <sighs> what happened? Who the shit Ah. Ah. Hey, I know it's not much, but why have we stopped moving? The power blacked out for a moment. I think it could be the atmospheric pressure. It's pushing pretty hard, really testing the limits of my suit. Don't worry, it should hold. <laughs> it will hold. Does, does time freeze when you're not powered? Time feels omitted. What's the difference? I don't feel like I'm being held back or hindered. And I don't have the opportunity to reflect on the time I'm missing. It's simply missing. Sounds like sleeping without the dreaming. Yes. 
But generally you anticipate when you're about to sleep, and there's a natural continuation since we tend to wake up where we went to sleep. My experience is more like an ever-changing moment that never really seems to find closure. Sounds kind of like a movie being edited live. I suppose so. <laughs> I guess it sounds exciting, but it really keeps me activated to the point of exhaustion. It's rough. Could be worse. Could be a time traveler stuck in a body made from black goo. That'd be the worst. I'll say it's for her. Fuck. Wish. Come again. Oh no. Oh, yes. You did it. You did it. 